What is going on guys, Winter Kills here and welcome back to another post commentary dual video. So as you can already tell, we're on DN for this one. We've got Demise Infernoids, if you want to call it, versus Demise Cosmo. Uh, I think in this build, uh, this DN build obviously, because I don't own the deck in real life anymore. I've made some changes to it a couple times. I think I cut Cars Demise down to two because at three I just didn't like it honestly. There's a couple times where I had to like, you know, really hinder my turn to use it or just not have to use it at all. And it was just kind of weird. But yeah, no time to get footage in, IRL footage. Probably going to try to get some this coming week. Um, but like, I just got all the parts, my new PC, had to put that together. Very, very stressful uh, time putting it together. Luckily, it all went well, and I can't wait to be uh, making videos on that for you guys. So, got that to look for in the future. But you see, we opened Card Trooper and uh, Deviati. I figured Deviati would be the best card to open up for uh, Cosmos. Stop any of those monster effects and not only... Stop the effects, but we banish the monsters in the process. So you see here, we got a huge advantage. Double cards for milling six cards. And we got the Deviati on board. And uh, you'll see me type in the chat. I'm going to, before I enter battle phase, because I accidentally clicked it. You know, gotta love those misclicks on DN. I'm gonna activate uh, Galaxy Cyclone. Did a set card, might as well do that before we enter battle phase. And then we'll swing with 19, 19, and 29, I believe. And then. I think we end the turn here, yeah. Because we can't summon any other Infernoids. Can't have any, you know, way to get the card trip out the field to get some draws. We'll pass it over to him. He's going to summon Strawman, activate Cards of Demise, get the max amount of draws he can get off that. Cannot special summon for the rest of the turn due to Card of Demise's effect. And any card, uh, any cards left in his hand during the end phase have to be discarded due to the effect of uh, Cards of Demise. And so basically what he's doing here is going to put back Dark Destroyer, get a free draw off of that see if he can get something that he can set he can and he's gonna go ahead and set that without having to discard any cards I'll mill six there not the best mills we draw into the one of reasoning so that's kind of clutch he knows what my normal monsters are so he's gonna call six hoping to hit the red eyes archfiend which it eventually comes up I thought I was gonna deck out but I also here have the option if I wanted to to put back the red stone in my hand and shovel back the red eyes archfiend on battle phase here, he's going to summon Slip Rider off Oasis of Dragon Souls. I'm going to activate Deviati's effect, tributing a card trooper away to negate it. Cosmojo is going to end up banishing Deviati. And now one thing that happened here, uh, I had both card troopers at 1900, and I accidentally tributed away the wrong one. Um, but luckily my friend was nice enough to let me say, oh, this one, the one that I tributed was the one that I already attacked with. Um, and that, we'll see the Slip Rider getting banished for Deviati's effect as well. And he'll get to summon. And uh, it won't even matter if that could even happen at all. Because basically he'll summon Oasis uh, for... This is basically how I went out. You want Oasis to summon uh, Slip Rider. Slip Rider's effect activated to pop Cosmo Town. I chain Deviati's effect. Tributing away the right card trooper um, to negate and banish that monster. Negating Slip Rider's effect. He chains Cosmojo to destroy it. And that'll basically, I think it dodges the banishing effect of uh, Deviati since Cosmojo is now destroying the card instead, triggering uh, Slip Rider's effect, banishing it to summon the Farm Girl, but I still attack over the Straw Man for enough damage by over 100 life points, I think. So I think that's how it played out. I think that's, I was a little confusing, but I think that's how that played out right there. Somebody's probably going to tell me that couldn't happen, but I think it can. I think that's how it ended up working out, and either way, we still had enough damage for game. Uh, Pot of Duality he's end up playing. It fits well with Cards of the Demise, so white as well. Um, also, we'll see here that I first turn went Anunku. And uh, basically, I negate and banish the Cosmo Town. What I didn't do is tribute away the uh, Decatron, because I totally forgot that you had to tribute away. Um, so, that's how that happened. Totally forgot to tribute it, so I tribute it during my turn without having any monsters on my field like I should have had. Um, so basically, then he's going to strike the summon of Anunku, which you can do, because a lot of people were telling me that it's an inherent summon, and that you can, you can strike inherent summons. That's what you guys have been telling me, at least I'm positive, that's what you guys have been saying in the comments. That you can't strike, or you can strike inherent summons, but you cannot strike things off of, per se, one for one, or in this deck's case, we'll say... If I had red, the Redstone Eleven Legend of the Blackstone Legend on the field, activate that's effect to summon out the Red Eyes. He cannot strike that either. It has to be an inherent summon and not summoning by a card effect. So, 
Hopefully we didn't fuck that up either. You'll see here uh, that one of card is demise in my hand. I draw Sightsmith for turn. No way to summon it, so I figure I have to go all out here and uh, set the Blackstone of Legend, discarding everything in my hand. And that was one of the nice things about the synergy that I noticed, at least in this match and the couple matches that we played before and after this, is that uh, end up discarding your whole hand at the end of the turn wasn't bad half the time. A lot of the times it was just Infernoids getting dumped to the graveyard where you know they, you necessarily want them to be, at least some of the big guys. Not necessarily the smaller ones, but I'm sure you get what I'm saying. So here we open double cards in my eyes and three Infernoids, and I can't really set myself up in a position where I want to use cards in my eyes because I have to special summon to get at least cards out of my hand. All the Infernoids have to be special summoned, cannot be normal summoned. You know, you can't have a combination of normal summoning one unless it's Decatron and then special summoning the rest to clear out hand space. So I have to keep that one set and keep the other one in my hand. He's going to go Cosmo Town. Do some shenanigans. Going to reveal some stuff, shovel back. Cards of Demise, 4-3, getting the max benefit he can for it. And then we're going to see him activate Tin Can here, I believe. He's still going to activate tin, tin Can's effect regardless of cards of demise even though the card that does get added to his hand will be discarded in the end phase if the card he gets added to his hand he cannot chain to summon through tin can's effect we'll see him send i believe it was dark destroyer uh slip rider and a land walker we'll see him discard the wicked witch out of his not wicked witch uh cosmo dark lady out of his hand um yeah not even gonna be able to chain to special summon at all actually because of Cards of Demise is effects to make it so you cannot special summon. And now right there, that Cards of Demise came in extremely clutch. The one card I was able to draw was Card Trooper. I got some decent mills off of it. Now I can go head to toe with his Tin Can there at a whopping 1800 attack with my uh, Petrulia, but we'll pop the set strike with Truly's effect. We'll see him activate Call the Haunted, summoning the Landwalker. I'm going to main phase to not opt to attack uh, only because I do not want him to have the pop Cosmo Town with Landwalker's effect obviously I could run over the tin can easily with the car trooper the monster that can still attack him I said obviously Petrulia's effect allowing him not to attack summon farm girl and now I am in a lot of trouble I've been losing all my hand advantage to to uh, the cards of demise discarding two uh, infernoids to the graveyard and then he's gonna end up going into battle phase here with tin can He'll take the 400, just so he can pop Cosmo Town to get a free surge of Dark Destroyer. Very clever way to get a surge, being able to trigger uh, Landwalker's effect to get rid of Cosmo Town to get a surge. And basically going to make it overkill here with that farm. He's going to pay 500 life points to get another Dark Destroyer to his hand, tag out for another 3k. He could pop his uh, Landwalker at that point to summon something else out, but he's, at this point he's just trying to get style points on me. So I just, I just admit defeat right there, and I don't even let him go any further. But yeah, pretty interesting matchup. Both decks surprisingly able to utilize cards and mines pretty well, as we know that this card has a profound effect on the meta that we know. There are a lot of decks that are utilize, utilizing it, such as Clifford, um, we see your Cosmos, and I also wanted to try in this video see its utility in Infernoids, because I recently did the featured archetype on Infernoids. And I wanted to conjure up some ideas. A lot of you guys gave some really awesome feedback in that video, so thank you so much for that. And in the description, I put some cards in there I forgot to mention, uh, like Cyphrae Moral Omega, uh, Breaksword, Phantom Knight Breaksword being just a decent rank three other than Dante that you could play. Cards of Demise being one of the huge ones and one of the driving factors, driving forces that wanted me to uh, do this duel and get to play the deck with Cards of Demise in it. And as you saw there in the beginning, was the the current build i think if it has two cards of mine i think it's the current build that i currently have on dn um so yeah hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys enjoyed the footage and the commentary if there's any mistakes or anything let me know in the comments you guys are usually pretty good at doing that but like i said i don't think there's anything too wrong here anything that was too uh big of a mistake just uh not getting the best hands um, and just getting outplayed and out, out card advantage, I should say. Just Cosmo being the superior deck, as we can see. But anyways, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary footage, all that. Leave a like if you did, and as always, guys, we're going to get all signing out. We'll see you in the next one.